Yesterday, oh. September the 14th, 2024, I delivered a uh, spirit message to my dear friend, uh, Gia, from her daughter, Courtney, who is a angel in heaven. Beautiful soul that I've been connected to for several years now, and um, I, I connect with her always, and I love when Gia, Courtney's mother, reaches out to me. Um, to reach out to her daughter. It's been a beautiful connection between not only me, myself and I with a angel in heaven, another universe, so to speak, as well as a beautiful soul life connection with Courtney's mother, Gia. So yesterday in the message that I delivered for uh, Gia from Courtney, her focus was on three leaf clovers not the four leaf clovers that everybody in life says universally speaking we should seek you know because the four leaf clovers are good luck and why are they good luck well you know there's many reasons why folklore myth legend um, superstition uh, yada yada but Courtney specifically was saying to her mother that her mother is not like everybody else she is the three leaf clover she's one in a million you know but she's special because she doesn't need luck in life that was the big thing so today i'm doing my farm work you know walking around the farm and you know busy down there you know unloading stuff and so i i'm walking through the fields and i just explained this to gia verbally because I think this is a big part of my spirit communications and why in particular my family can't understand it all, therefore doesn't want to understand. It's important for me to explain how this all happens with me, the best that I can anyway. So I'm connected to Courtney for years. And this is how it went for this one moment. Today, after connecting with her yesterday, uh, I'm walking through the fields and I'm coming back and all of a sudden I say she had me look down when I say she I mean Courtney She had me look down, you know So I looked down and the first thing I saw is what she had me see she had me see <laughs> I wasn't seeking anything. I didn't know why I was looking down. I wasn't thinking Spirit doesn't ask us to do anything. That's why I was telling Gia today. She had me do this when you get to that level of connection with a, a, a different realm of connecting to a soul, it's, it's entirely different. It's not like talking on the phone with somebody. It's not conversations. It's, it's, it's a whole realm, multitude of realms of different things. So I look down and I see, you know, well, I didn't see Chip then, but there's Chip. And this has been stamped on now, but I see one single flower, you know, among a bed of a lot of three leaves clovers and so again here's how it goes with me there's no thought involved i simply received the vision through my eyes of this single flower in the cloves and without any thought involved i deciphered whatever however courtney delivered it through me it's not through my ears not through my eyes at that point it is through my soul um, there are no words not even deciphered and yet Somehow, I guess I do create words for them. And that has taken me most of my life to learn how to do this. So, anyway, <laughs> I never make a story short. I'm a long story always. But it helps to explain these things. So at that point, you know, I'm like, okay, I get it, Courtney. Um, you know, and I don't always talk out loud either. You know, it's a lot of times I'm, I'm really busy and I'm just like, okay, I get it, Courtney, cool. I'm totally going to share this with your mom. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take a picture of it right now. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take a video of me talking about it right now to further explain to your mom because I feel, I don't think, I feel that's what this soul, Courtney, wants me to do. Therefore, she will have had me do. Does this make sense, what I'm saying? Courtney's never going to be like, hey, Natalie, could you like take a picture of that clover and send it to my mom right now? I'm really thinking of her. It's not like that at all. It has nothing to do with thought. With Courtney. She is an angel. 
There is no thought. Courtney's not up in heaven or around heaven or, or standing behind her mom or anywhere else thinking about anything. That's what we do when we're in this life and we have a brain, which then is, you know, our mind. Those are where the thoughts come from. That's why it's difficult for us to even understand with animals, like, you know, dogs as an example. Um, they don't have words. When they're communicating with each other, it's energy. But dogs are smart as creatures, as animals, and they're able to learn hundreds and hundreds of our language, our words, whether we speak in English or Spanish or French <laughs> or Italian. So all of this is very fascinating to me. And um, I'm grateful that Courtney, as one of my special soul sisters, as an angel in heaven, has helped me to further learn to decipher, to deliver in such really, truly amazing ways. Um, the greatest part of it all for me, Natalie, <laughs> is to share it. Like I tell people, can you connect, they, somebody, can you connect to, to JFK or Michael Jackson? Sure, absolutely. You can too. <laughs> But I can't validate anything. How would I, I, I? So for me, that's not like a thing, you know. And yet, at the same time, I also am in a, you know, uh, stage, phase, whatever you want to call it, of my own life learnings. You know, I'm speaking to spirit for more than half of my life now. Really all my life, but being aware of it for more than half my life. Um, I'm, I've surpassed needing that validation you know um that's where it all began for me though was sharing and that was the hardest part because a lot of people were like you're crazy i'm like I, well maybe i am then you know but then boom you know one person was like oh my god what how did you know that and i'm like i don't know <laughs> you know and from that moment forward it was like oh it became a really big life not, I don't want to say life altering, uh, became a big life moment, life way of being for me to literally be open and aware and seeking always the trinkets and treasures of life, the breadcrumbs left behind by heaven, by angels, by life itself, sometimes knowingly and sometimes unknowingly. This is not even me in deep thought right now. <laughs> this is me in a state of, you know, okay, Courtney, she's not speaking to me right now. I feel her presence and I'm just kind of, you know, open. But then I carry on. And anyway, so she's smiling right now and she actually, she actually, that was her, she said, that just had a couple of these petals fall from this flower. I saw that from the corner of my eye, and she goes, gotcha. Now, that's funny to me, okay? So how do I explain that to you? I have no idea. I have no idea how to explain that to you. All I'm saying is she literally <laughs> just had me within the cipher, all of that. I do get it. I do understand. It definitely sounds crazy, all of it. But it's no more crazier than that looks right there. Right? Anyway. <laughs> Gee, I hope this helps to further explain to you what I shared via words. It is your daughter as an angel in heaven who has greatly helped me to further my venues of sharing spirit. But not only sharing spirit, part of my whole whatever you want to call it, mission, purpose, um, is to share in ways that allow you to learn to do what I do. 
because what I do you can do too we all can maybe not all of us but you do have to want to and I know you do want to which is why I love your daughter for having me do such things as starting the videos for spirit messages and all of that thank you talk to you soon <laughs> love you